Working directly with brands is by far the most scalable way to grow your Amazon wholesale business in 2023. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we find the exact brands that we work with to buy their products at wholesale and turn around and flip them on Amazon at retail. We use a tool to do this research and it's by far the best tool for this uh, particular research method. It's called Smart Scout. It's gonna help you find more brands and it's gonna help you do it quicker. And it's gonna save you probably 10 to 15 hours per week if you do this, uh, if you do a lot of the sourcing like this. So if you're interested in checking out Smart Scout for yourself, this, like I said, it's the exact tool that I'm gonna be using in this video. There's gonna be a link in the description of this video where you can take 25% off your first three months of Smart Scout. And you can also use code Corey25 at checkout to get that same discount as well. So before we jump into the live sourcing where I'm gonna be finding brands here live showing you exactly how I do it, Take a second and subscribe to my channel. I come out with three videos like this every single week. And with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So I'm gonna share my screen here. And we're gonna take a look at Smart Scout and see how this thing works. So keep in mind, this is, like I said, it's a live sourcing. So I have not looked at any of these brands before. I haven't done any of this specific research before. So everything we're finding here is gonna be new to me. And we might find a lot of leads really quickly and it might take us a little longer than anticipated. So what you do is you log into Smart Scout here. And so the tier that I'm on, so Smart Scout has three particular pricing tiers. You wanna be in the middle pricing tier which uh, at the time of this recording, I don't know how much that is per month. It's a little more expensive than the basic tier, but it's what you need in order to use all the features that we're gonna be using here. So what you do first is you come over here to the brands tab, and then we just choose a category, okay? So let's just choose uh, any old category. Let's choose sports and outdoors, and then we're just gonna hit search. We're not setting any filters yet. So. We see there's 64,578 brands in the sports and outdoors category. All right, that's a lot of brands. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna further refine. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna set Amazon in stock rate to be maximum 60%. And what that's telling us is that over the last 90 days, Amazon has been in stock on 60% of this brand maximum across all their products. Basically what that filter does is it eliminates any brands where Amazon is gonna be a huge competitor. The second filter we're gonna set is we're gonna set average number of sellers to a minimum of three. And that's gonna get rid of any private label brands that only have one or two sellers, right? So we don't wanna be competing with the brand themselves. The last filter we're gonna set is we're gonna come over here to monthly revenue estimate. And we're gonna set that to be between, let's say 40,000 per month and 500,000 per month because we wanna target these smaller to medium sized niche brands that aren't mega brands, but they're not too small to where they're not worth our time, right? So we wanna set these three filters and you'll notice that that took a list of, what, what did I say? I think 36,000 brands down to 527 brands. Okay, so that is a much smaller, much more concentrated list. <coughs> and these brands are now a lot more targeted and they're gonna be ones that we have a better chance of working with. So what we're gonna do is we're going to filter uh, monthly revenue estimate is how I like to do it. And I like to start from the bottom and look for the smaller ones. And this is how we're gonna start. So we're basically gonna open up each of these brands in a new tab, and we're gonna run them against our brand criteria. And I'll tell you what those are when we take a look at them. So let's start with this first one, Cannondale. All right, so Cannondale looks to me like a brand of, um, can't really tell exactly what they, I mean, looks like a mountain biking helmet, some sort of kickstand, so kind of like a biking gear, right? And so anytime we're opening a brand in a new tab, we're looking to verify them against our, our three brand criteria. So the first criteria is one, we wanna make sure that their main products are not dominated by Amazon, okay? So when we look at, this looks to be their best selling product right here, and I hover over the title and the keep a graph pops up in the bottom right, I can see that in the last year, according to that keep a graph, and I know my picture is kind of over the graph, but you can kind of see the left side of it. Suffice it to say that Amazon has not been on this listing at all in the last year. Okay, so Amazon is not dominating their best product. If we look at this product, it looks like their second best. And again, keep a graph, according to the keep a graph, Amazon is not dominating this product either. So it meets our first criteria. The second criteria is that we want there to be existing FBA competition, all right? And the reason for that is because we want there to be other sellers because if there are other FBA sellers on the listing, then that means that they're getting this product profitably from somewhere and it means that we probably can too. 
So I'm seeing a red flag with this uh, with this brand because right here I'm seeing that this particular listing only has one seller, one FBA seller. This listing has two. Um, so that tells me if we open this up in a new tab, we're trying to avoid listings where the brand is the only seller on the listing because that means that the brand, they know what they're doing on Amazon. They've got it locked down. They're not letting anybody else sell. And when we see, so the name of the brand here is Cannondale. Uh, the name of the seller here is 332. So that doesn't look to me to be the brand. Um, and then when we see here, so there's actually five other sellers. Only one of them is FBA. Looks to be a pretty consistent number of sellers here, anywhere from four to five, uh, maybe up to six at any given time. So that could be an opportunity for us to come in and be an additional FBA seller on this listing because there's existing competition. Now, the third criteria is that we want to just make sure that they've got at least a couple of products that are selling well. All right. And when we look at the search results page here, this product seems to be selling well, right? Uh, 50 or so units sold per month, about 50K rank. This one also looks to be selling decent, uh, 50 or so units sold in the last month, 68K rank at the moment. And now I know when I say selling well, that's not very well defined because selling well to a newer seller might mean 30, 40, 50 sales per month, but selling well to me as an experienced seller might be, I might only look for products that sell two, three, four, 500 units per month. So that criteria is a little relative, but for the sake of this example, we're going to assume that this particular brand is selling decently enough for us to reach out to them. Okay, so it <clears throat> looks like the brand is called Cannondale. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look up Cannondale and it looks like this is them, right? Cannondale Bikes, Road, Mountain, Kids, Electric. Uh, we remember the, it looks to be like a bike brand. So it looks like it'd be a good fit. So I'm gonna click on their website here and this is definitely them. So when I'm on their website, I'm looking for a couple of things. I'm looking for, ideally, I wanna see like a wholesale tab or like a wholesale button, basically a way to get in touch with somebody about a wholesale account specifically. Usually that's gonna to be towards the bottom of the page. Um, so, de okay, so dealer. Because what a dealer is, a dealer is a retailer or a reseller, which is essentially what we are. So in this case, we want to become a dealer, right? This is exactly what we're looking for. So we would click become a dealer. <clears throat> and this is essentially their form that we can fill out to become a possible reseller of their product, right? So this is exactly what we're looking for here. We would fill this out completely. We would submit it and then we would wait for a response, right? If we wanted to, we could then take it a step further and find somebody from this brand on LinkedIn to maybe try to expedite our request. So if I search Cannondale LinkedIn, this looks to be them. I think this is them, Sporting Goods Manufacturer, sounds about right. All right, so if we go look for people, um, so really when we're looking for people at the company on LinkedIn, we're looking for a couple of different types of people. We're either looking for the founder, if it's a smaller brand, we're looking for uh, anybody in sales, right? Anybody that is incentivized to sell us product. So somebody like an account manager, a business development representative, a business development manager, all these titles tell me that that person is in sales. And so just a very quick glance here, I'm not seeing anybody with those specific titles. Okay, so here, key account sales specialist at Cannondale. So this guy, Dan, is somebody that is probably the exact type of contact that we would want to contact at this brand to get in touch with somebody that can sell us product, right? Dan is in sales, we're looking to buy, it's a perfect fit. And somebody like Marty Keen, it looks like he might be in e-commerce specifically with Cannondale, also might be somebody good to contact. So that right there is one qualified lead. We've been recording for nine minutes. We've already found one lead and I've been talking through the whole process. So realistically, we can find a lot more than that a lot quicker. Let's see if we can find a few more. All right, so next one we got is Sonelli. So it looks to me like this Sonelli brand, they've got this handlebar tape, they sell uh, hats, more handlebar tape, anti-vibration gel system, cork tape, right? So it's clearly, I, this is clearly the right brand. I believe it's a match because they're in the same category. 
Now, again, we want to run them through our three criteria. So the first thing is we want to make sure there's existing FBA competition, which this says one or more FBA sellers. So we'll open it up in a new tab and see if there are, in fact, multiple sellers in this listing. All right. So again, when I look here at the keep -a graph, there's plenty of sellers, right? Uh, anywhere from 11 to 18 at any, any given time. There seems to be, if we come and look at the offers and sort by prime, there's uh, actually only one FBA seller on the listing right now, ever now online. But again, looking at the keep -a graph, it looks like there's FBA sellers on this listing all the time. So that leads me to believe that there are usually multiple FBA sellers on this brand. Second thing, we want to make sure they're not dominated by Amazon, at least their main products aren't. And again, just by looking at the keep -a graph that pops up in the bottom right here, this particular listing is not dominated by Amazon. This particular listing is not dominated by Amazon. Neither is this one. Uh, so their main listings appear to be pretty clear of any Amazon presence. Now, the third thing we want to make sure of, like we said, is that they've got at least a couple of products that are selling well. This one being ranked 20K in sports and outdoors, 100 plus bought in the last month. That's pretty decent. Again, we look at the keeper graph here and we can see there's a lot of activity. So this thing is definitely selling. And then this particular handlebar tape right here, 15K rank in sports and outdoors. So it's selling pretty well. 3,780 reviews. That's a lot of reviews. So that tells me that these two products are probably selling pretty well. All right, so now let's see if we can find the brand's contact information. So Sinelli. <clears throat> so they're an Italian bicycle manufacturing company based in Milan. Um, okay, so this looks to be them. It is their official website. Lifestyle cycling brand, so this is definitely them. Um, okay. So again, we want to look for some sort of like dealer section or wholesale section, anything like that. This website is pretty bad, but so I'm not finding anything here. I'm finding their socials, corporate customer service, nothing about Sinelli, uh, like a wholesale account or becoming a dealer. So in this case, you got two options. You can either search for somebody on LinkedIn at the company that you can reach out to directly, or you can just shoot them a generic email in like their contact us form. Okay, so this is gonna redirect us to their America site. So same thing, same site. <clears throat> so in this case, like I said, we would just fill out our name, email, phone, subject, and then essentially tell them, hey, we're a retailer, we're based out of XYZ City, we're looking to place a bulk order for Sonelli products, is there anybody in sales that could reach out to us, right? Because we wanna get in touch with a salesperson that can tell us, uh, basically, that's incentivized to sell us product, right? So we could fill out this form here, send that over. Like I said, we could also go to LinkedIn as well and try to find a lead there for somebody at the company that we could contact directly. But that would be our, those would be our moves there. All right, so let's try uh, one more. I'll just scroll down to a random one. Let's see, micro shift. Okay. So this one looks like a good example to me. So again, first thing we're gonna do when we open a brand up in a new tab, run them against our criteria. First criteria, wanna make sure that their main products are not dominated by Amazon. Looking at the Keepa here, there's no Amazon, no Amazon. So this says sold by Amazon right here, but if we look at the Keepa, there's actually not any Amazon on the listing. Sometimes uh, this extension right here, it's called DS Amazon Quick View, it's free. Sometimes it glitches and it'll say there's Amazon on the listing when there isn't. Uh, this one right here, also no Amazon, no Amazon, no Amazon, no Amazon. All right, and this brand, just for again, from a quick glance, appears to have multiple products that sell pretty well. All the products that we just looked at sell decent. So it definitely meets that third criteria, right? The second criteria we want to make sure of is that there's existing FBA competition, which again, when we look at the DS Amazon Quick View right here, Four sellers on this listing, three FBA sellers here, four here, two here, three here, right? So there's definitely existing FBA competition on these listings. So this brand meets all three criteria perfectly. Yep. 
Very well. And another thing that I'll notice too, so like th their listings look really poor, right? They've only got one photo here. Um, their bullet points are super short. So they're leaving a lot of what I like to call keyword real estate on the table by having really poor listings with not many keywords included. They don't appear to be brand registered because they don't have any A plus content right here that's replacing the product description. So bottom line is this brand has a lot of potential for optimization. One that we would really want to reach out to to try to get a wholesale account with and eventually position ourselves to hopefully get an exclusive deal with them in return for helping them out on Amazon optimizing their product listings. So if we take a Google search from micro shift. Um, this looks like them because micros lowercase and shift is capitalized. So I'm going to assume that's them. Yeah, this is definitely them. They're a biking brand as well. All right. So again, we're looking for wholesale information, dealer information, anything that we can find out about becoming a retailer of their products. And right here, I'm seeing distributors. I'm not seeing anything about dealers, but I'm seeing distributors. So international distributors. Let's see North America. <clears throat> okay. So what this is telling me is that they're listing their US based distributor here. So this is probably their exclusive distributor in the US. So you could try to reach out to Microship directly and open a wholesale account and buy directly from them. But they're literally telling us where we can buy their products at wholesale, right? They're telling us that they sell in the US through quality bicycle products qbp.com. So let's click on that website and see what that looks like. Weaving together the bicycle industry. Um, so it looks to me like they're just like a bicycle products and parts distributor. So here they list some of the brands that they carry. So 430 total brands that you can buy from this specific distributor, 50,000 unique products available to retailers, uh, and they have 80 exclusive brands, right? So from this one brand that we found here that we were looking at contacting, we actually found a distributor for not only micro shift, but this particular distributor distributes 429 other brands, right? So this is why I love to, when I'm doing research for uh, companies to contact, I like to start with brand research because a lot of times your brand research will lead to you finding distributors to contact as well, exactly like what happened here. We found a good brand that we wanted to sell. We ended up finding a distributor for that brand. And not only does that distributor carry this one brand, this distributor carries, like we said, 430 total brands. So my next move would be <clears throat> to contact QBP, right? See about getting a wholesale account with QBP. And when I reach out to QBP, I'm going to be very specific about what I'm looking to buy. I'm going to say, hey, we were looking at buying MicroShift products. We saw that you guys are a distributor for MicroShift. What can we do about possibly getting an account with you guys to buy MicroShift? Because when you're specific like that and you tell them the exact brands that you're looking for, they're going to be way more likely to open that account for you and want to work with you because you know what you want. So if we click do business with us, it'll probably pull up an application. Um, best in class distribution. Okay. So here it's telling us actually you've got to operate out of a brick and mortar retail location or you can't have an account with them. So that tells me that it's probably going to be unlikely for us to get an account with this particular company. So you either need to partner with a brick and mortar bike store to get this account, or you're going to have to move on to the next, or you could call them up and try to convince them otherwise. Um, so either way, we found what two to three good brands here in the under 20 minutes that we've been doing this research. We found a possible distributor that would probably not have a lot of luck getting an account with, but if we can be creative, if we can be crafty, we can possibly work with this distributor in a, in a way where not any other Amazon sellers are going to be able to work with them, right? So I'm going to go back to my camera here. I really hope that this video was helpful. This is exactly how I use Smart Scout every day in my business to find new brands to contact. And we use our brand leads, like I said, to lead to our distributor leads, just like the one that we saw just now. So I hope this type of video was helpful. If it was, leave a comment in the description below. Let me know that this video helped you out. If you want to check out Smart Scout for yourself, like I said, there's going to be a link in the description where you can take 25% off your first three months of Smart Scout. I get a small kickback as well, so it is a way to support me and these videos. So thank you so much for watching, and there'll be more videos just like this in a couple of days.